fighters. It is the United States's birthday. July 4th, 2024. We are now 248 years old as a nation, which is pretty damn young if you think about it. In our short history though, if you go all the way back to that revolutionary war time, there were some men and women who put their asses on the line for us to have the country we have today. And as imperfect as it is, it's still the greatest country in the world. And I want to encourage you to love it to fight for it, to be part of the solutions to our problems here instead of being one of the many victim-minded people that are always bitching and whining because they don't have the perspective of what the rest of the world looks like. When I think back to the obstacles and the opposition and the tyranny that our founding fathers had to endure, to put their name on a fucking document was basically like signing their own death sentence. That's what it takes to have the freedom that we want, not only as a nation, but the freedom that we want in our businesses. If you're listening to this show, you're wanting to grow your business. You probably want some financial freedom. You don't want to be held by the balls all the time by your employees, by your customers, by the market, by inflation, by the other circumstances that are out there. There's an old quote. It says, if the way is high, accordingly, it has a great number of obstacles. It's an ancient saying. If the way is high, accordingly, it has a great number of obstacles. You have big dreams. You have this vision for the freedom that you want. There's going to be obstacles and it's going to require you to be uncomfortable and discipline and be uncommon to do the things you don't feel like doing to do the things that you're scared to do this is what it's going to take to have the life and the business that you want to have so just like our founding fathers inked their name and said whatever it fucking takes that's what i want to encourage you with here today whatever it takes and again like i've said before winning is ugly the way is inconvenient but none of that work matters if your vision of what freedom you want is big enough then you won't care about the work. You won't care about the late nights. You won't care about having to get uncomfortable and become somebody different in pursuit of what you want. So my message for you today is simple. Lean in, attack the uncomfortable stuff. Be consistent, keep your optimism. Know that each day that you are stacking these bricks and stacking these bricks and stacking these bricks, that you're moving closer to that vision that you want. There's an old saying, you know, like if if there's not a staircase, build one. That's what you're doing right now. Where you're at now, where you want to be, if there's not a fucking staircase, you build your own staircase and you do that by chipping away with the work each and every day. There's plenty of knowledge out here in the world for all of you. So my question here right now, if you're not winning, if you're not experiencing the freedom that you want to be having in your life and in your business right now, it really comes down to one of two things. Number one, you don't know what to do. You don't know the actions to take. That's fixable. Probably been consuming my shit and other people's stuff and reading books and podcasts and watching YouTube, plenty of information out there. My guess is you probably have a pretty good idea of what to do, which leads me to the second option of why you're not where you wanna be. You're not implementing what you know to do. Anybody can know what to do. We create these strategic plans for the quarter and for the week, and I'm gonna do this, and this is what we're gonna do, and we're gonna blah, 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 and this and that, and da, 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 da. But then when it comes time for the rubber to hit the road and for you to do the do, you tap out, you procrastinate. You blow it off till tomorrow, whatever it is. Remember, time kills deals. Best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is today. So today is a new beginning for you towards your freedom. If you haven't been doing the do, then that can change with one decision right now. So what is it for you? What do you know to do that you haven't been doing? Raise your prices, get some sales training, learn how to build your brand, get around some fucking winners and change your environment. I don't know what it is for you. Only you know what it is. Because you know you're telling yourself these stories. And every time you don't do the shit that you commit to do that's going to move you closer to the things that you want with the freedom that you want, every time you don't honor those commitments, your confidence takes a hit. That's why so many contractors, so many of you watching this channel, listening to this podcast, you're not where you want to be because you simply keep stealing from your confidence. But every day that you implement the things you need to do, your confidence grows, your chest sticks out a little more, your chin is a little higher. That's what it takes to win. Take a page from our founding fathers and their families. Take a big risk the second half of 2024. Put your name on whatever that document is to you and commit to doing the work and putting yourself out there and saying, I don't care what it costs me, what I want is worth it. Because the freedom you want for your family, 
and your relationships and your bank account and your employees and their families. Guys, that's worth the ride. I promise you it's worth the ride. It's worth all the times you're going to get punched in the face, but you can't give up. You got to see this thing through. You got what it takes. I believe in you. Now go fucking get it.